<gasps> oh, oh no, is that a demon still there? Hi everyone, welcome in, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emmy. if you're new here, it's so good to have you here. Today we are watching Demon Slayer Season 1 Episode 2, Trainer Sukunji Urokodaki. Tried my best there with the pronunciation. <laughs> We're still learning. So we are very, very, very new into Demon Slayer. I am so intrigued. I thought the first episode was beautiful with the way that they opened. I mean, I loved how there was so much first person point of view in the first episode because it made it really feel like you were there, obviously, and heightened the emotions and the experiences that Tanjiro was going through. What we have established so far, Tanjiro was supposed to go back up to the mountain to his family and then it was going to be a bad night where demons come out so he ended up staying with someone and then when he went back up the next morning he found his whole family massacred and Nezuko his sister had turned into a demon but unlike any other that this demon slayer that we ran into had seen because she still has a part of her within there and she defended Tanjiro and even though she was probably starving she did not try to eat him she was defending him so the demon slayer told Tanjiro where to go and left her like with a gag so I'm wondering if that gag is like some sort of an anti-curse thing because it also really seemed to calm her demeanor as well as obviously it's there so she can't fully attack as easily so yeah we are on a big mission and i can already see how hard this is going to be because i'm sure anyone that meets nezuko is probably gonna be terrified and very very doubtful that she is able to control herself and then tanjiro is he's an older kid but he seems to still have no idea how to fight which he is going to have to learn how to do so we got our path ahead of us, and I'm sure there's going to be other things. But anyways, we're just going to go ahead and get into it. If you aren't already subscribed, I'd really appreciate it. Of course, a thumbs up is appreciated too. Also on my Patreon, I'm four weeks ahead, so if you're interested in both early access and full-length reactions, you can check out my link for that in the description below. Alright, let's go! So we saw the mountains in the back, so we must still be... Kind of close to home. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> That's a lot of insight to Tanjiro's personality. He doesn't have much, but he's going to be stubborn about at least giving people in exchange for things. Oh, what are you doing in there, girly? Maybe she was hiding? Cool, cool title sequence. Oh no, hot tanoka. Apparently she has. Mm, that's right, that's right. I forgot about that. She can't be in the sunlight. Fit in there. Wow, that's gonna make you strong. <laughs> that basket is pretty small. That is so funny that she's in this state and he's literally like, aww, she's grown so much. Oh, good idea. Good point. Maybe she can get smaller. Oh, wow. Yeah, good job. <laughs> oh, that's funny. People have gone missing. Could there be demons in here? At least she gets to walk around at night. What is he sensing? It smells blood. Oh my god. It's really interesting his sense of smell. <gasps> oh, oh no. Is that a demon still there? You're turf? <laughs> oh my god. It's a 
man eating demon? That's ghastly. Ugh. And gory. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, that's gross. He's got so many teeth. Whoa. Whoa. Nice reflexes, but holy cow. Dang, and it did. They can heal themselves. Meanwhile, Nezuko's mouth is watering like crazy. Poor girl. She's doing like all she can to resist. We could really use some help of some sort. <laughs> Where's that one demon slayer? Oh! Whoa. Okay. Nezuko, that's one way. You know what? She is a demon and a demon slayer. We'd love to see it. Nezuko! <laughs> Watch out! Let's be in shock later. She really kicked his head like it was a kickball. Yeah, that's so disturbing. His body and head are separated, but they're still going. Like, how do you kill a demon? <gasps> how did it grow arms? I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that. Oh my god. Literally. He grew arms from his head. At least Tanjiro was sh as shocked as me. He wants to go. A good headbutt? Nice. <laughs> Oh my god, that's so weird. Oh, his hair's stuck. It, it got him stuck. That's wild. Uh, did we think this one through? What are you gonna do? Oh, thank god. Good. And we just let his body go. Oh god, that's so weird. Oh. So is he dead now? Did that work? Hmm. Interesting that he can distinguish the scents. Oh man, he's like near panicky. Scary thing to do for the first time. <laughs> Oh? Whom star you? Hmm. Is that really how? Ugh, oh, God, that makes it even harder for him. Yeah, even though it's a demon, that's hard. Who is this guy? Mm. So this guy has like senses as well. Oh, he is back. Ugh, this makes it even harder. He's conscious. Oh, wait. But the sun's gonna get him. Oh. Well, wait, where's Nezuko? Hopefully, she's okay, right? She was just here. Nezuko. No, literally, where Nezuko. is she? That's what I was thinking. Did she find our basket? <sighs> oh, she did find our basket. Oh, I'm happy she's okay. We have a lot of learning to do. You know, at least the sunlight took care of that demon. That was going to be very gruesome for Tanjiro to do. Ah, that's who you are. Oh, we already found him. Mm. The fact that he said when and not if, like it will happen. Oh. oh. 
That's the goal here, get my guy. We understand. But yeah, the stakes are very high. Demon Slayer Core. Training arc incoming? <laughs> cool music. Yeah, Nezuko's on like a roller coaster ride <laughs> right now in that basket. Mm. Oh, that's so sweet. Was that even the test? Thomas <laughs> <laughs> I get it. They're going to climb the mountain. Oh my god. That's funny. I knew it'd be like that. I wonder if we'll ever see his face. Or if he literally always wears a mask. Go back down. Oh. <laughs> he just left. Mm. Get lost and also can there be demons out? <laughs> no, that's nice. Oh, there are traps. Oh my god. Oh wow, there are a lot of traps. This is not going to be an easy trip down. How did he do all that without walking into them on the way up? <laughs> he shouldn't be laughing, but it's funny he moved out of the way and he still got hit. I'm only laughing because that would totally be me as well. Relax. Yeah. You're gonna be alright. Sniff out each of the traps. Oh, that's so cool. That's kind of like what he he was doing. The man with the mask. I guess our new teacher. Whoa. That's wild. Hmm. God. Not all of them, I guess. <laughs> At least he can smell him, though. <laughs> He's determined. That's what we love in a protagonist. This undying determination. Unwavering determination. So in theory, if Tanjiro didn't make it back in time, would this man have to kill Nezuko? Like, is that what was at stake here? He returned though, so I guess we don't have to worry about it. Hmm, this is what he was told before. Mm. So they are similar like that. Hmm. Tomioka. I'll try my best to remember names. Let's go! Good and well deserved. Tanjiro went through a lot there. Friends, thank you so much for watching Demon Slayer episode 2 with me. That was so, so good. I'm really enjoying watching this show. I think this episode was really insightful to Tanjiro's personality and his character. Like in the beginning, it was so funny to me of how his sister is a literal demon and and all he's focusing on is like oh my god you've gotten so big i remember when you were tiny like that's that's sweet he's a very very sweet and loyal older brother and he cares so much for nezuko obviously and then we saw how determined he is like that unwavering determination of making it down the mountain in time and proving himself to be a student in order to become a demon slayer which is so cool so so cool that we're already here especially because i thought it was going to take a while to find sakonji i thought i don't know for some reason i thought it was going to be quite the journey to find him but we already found him today and they seem to have this similar sense of 
smell so yeah i guess he might even become his heir at some point but he really laid down the laws of like your sister is to never ever attack a human and even though i don't think any of us were thinking that she should it was just really stressing like it's it's over like it's all over if she ever does that so the stakes are very very high again thank you so much for watching with me and i will see you in the next video goodbye